Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Dauntless video with Sully's Mustache here and today I'm gonna show you guys the low life stalker build. So basically this build right here was designed to never run out of stamina. So as you guys might be aware, some of the chain blade attacks really drain stamina. But with this build right here, you will never need to worry about a stamina anymore. So without further talking, let's jump straight into the build. So for a weapon we're using the Stalker's Trap, which comes with us 3 Wild Frenzy and its special effect is dealing damage has a chance to generate a Shadow Orb that grants 2.5% damage for 5 seconds. And if you have 5 or more orbs, the, dam the bonus doubles to 5% damage per orb. And it's not really hard to keep 5 or more orbs as long as you keep attacking the Behemoth. Now for the mods we're using the Reaper's Dance and the Serrated Blades. And for the cells we're using plus 3 Weighted Strikes and plus 3 Conduit. Now for the helmet we're using the School Forge, which is an exotic helm that you can make by dropping the blueprint from uh, Heroic and Heroic Plus Patrols, and it's crafted using Cherub materials. Now its special effect is 1.5% of damage dealt becomes a stamina shield with a maximum of 50 points that depletes slowly after not dealing damage for a short period of time. So basically as long as you keep attacking the Behemoth, every single hit will generate a little bit of stamina, so your stamina will never completely run out. So with this helmet right here and condition you will have basically infinite stamina and you can keep attacking and dodging whenever you need. So it's pretty pretty good for the chain blades. Now for the cell we're using plus 3 Iceborne. Now for the chest piece we're using the Dark Marrow which comes with plus 3 Rage and for the cell we're using plus 3 Rage as well. And for the gloves we're using the Strike Down Gloves which comes with plus 3 Weighted Strikes and for the cell we're using plus 3 Conditioning. Now for the legs we're using the Boreal March which comes with plus 3 Iceborne and for the cell we're using plus 3 Wild Frenzy. And last but not least, we're using the Dress Eye as our lantern because that's the best lantern for this build and its instant effect increases our damage by 30% for 6 seconds. Now for the cell we're using plus 3 Conduit. So now let's move into the perk summary. So here we have plus 6 Conduit that increases our attack speed by 25% for 8 seconds right after using the lantern hold ability. Plus 6 Iceborne that gives us plus 30% decrease in damage taken and 8% life steal that cannot heal beyond 50% health when under 50% health. Plus 6 Rage that gives us plus 25% damage when under 50% health. Plus 6 Weighted Strikes that gives us plus 40 stagger damage per attack and after dodging through an attack your next attack deals plus 400 stagger damage. Also Weighted Strikes lets the Chain Blades strong attacks interrupt Behemoth so it's really really good for the Chain Blades. Plus 6 Wild Frenzy that increases our attack speed by 25% when under 50% health and plus 3 conditioning that gives us plus 15 stamina regeneration. So to use this build properly, all you wanna do is in the beginning of the fight, you're gonna take a few hits just to get right below 50% health. When that happens, your Iceborne, Rage and Wild Frenzy perks will activate, then you're gonna get an additional 25% attack speed, 25% increase the damage, you're gonna take 30% less damage, and you're gonna get 8% lifesteal that cannot heal beyond 50% health, which gonna keep those, those three perks active throughout the whole fight. And right after that, it's all about being aggressive and attacking the Behemoth, because every single hit you land on the Behemoth gonna regenerate a little bit of stamina thanks to your school forge. So you don't really have to worry about your stamina, just keep attacking. If you need to dodge, you have stamina. If you need to attack, you have stamina. So this build right here is very fun to play with. It's not beta or anything, but it's extremely viable and I highly suggest you guys give this a try. So that's pretty much it for the build, guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration against a hero behemoth so you can see what I'm talking about here. So thank you for watching, guys, and now check this out.
So that's pretty much it guys, if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Dauntless videos like that, so thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!